Obviously, the strength of our team has been and will be continue to be our interior players and our size. Um, and then for the second straight game, I, I thought we were out physical around the rim and didn't rebound the ball at the level we have to rebound it. Uh, with, with, with Junior out, our offense is not near as smooth, and that's part of it. That's You've got to deal with injuries during a season. And we've been dealing with them all year. I think we've had our, our nine scholarship guys not counting the knee injuries for two games this year, available two games um, this year. So that's... You know, we should, if we can get through this stuff, it'll make us stronger and make us better. Um, I don't know that ball handling as much as decision making was a problem tonight. And then uh, more than anything else, is we just, we, they, I give Tennessee State credit. I felt like they were completely the dominant team physically. I thought they just whipped us physically around the rim and they made the extra pass and we were drilled one against contact. And, um, you know, they beat us on the glass, uh, which they didn't beat us as bad as they did there, but there we didn't turn the ball over. You know, I, that's one of our lowest turnover games in the league. Tonight we had 20 turnovers again. Um, so, you know, at some point we'll have to, we've got to decide if we're going to be physically tough enough uh, to, to be a good team. There's a good team here. Uh, we're still fitting the pieces together, and you know, because the injuries were a little behind what I'd like to be. But you know, even tonight, I thought we played hard. You know, we had to get a little out of character to try to speed the game up and try to get more possessions. And, because of that, we gave them some easy shots in the back of it, and they took advantage of it. And but at that point, we had to kind of get, we had to come out of character a little bit. We're not going to be a team that has to get up the floor 80, 94 feet and double and all that stuff. That's just not who we need to be. Um, but because of our our lack of execution during the first part, we had to do that late. So I, you know, I'm hopeful that our team will will get back to to playing the right way again. I think we've been, we've made we've made some good strides. We're better, but you know, it's hard to feel good about our last two games right now. Talking about the first half, there it seemed like it was back and forth a little bit for a while. What do you see happening in the first half? I saw them physically whip us around the rim. We threw it inside and we turned it over, and uh, they were just more physical, more aggressive, and tougher. And we went at the half with a lot of turnovers, which we kind of expected. Um, it's kind of been who we are, especially with Junior out. Um, and we talked all week. If we turn it over, fine, just win the, win the glass. Be that good on the rebound. We weren't. We had two rebounds off. It's a glass in the first half, I think, two. We only had five for the game. I only had a few for the game. So, uh, But I know we were down, down five or seven and a half on the glass. Uh, I, just, I just thought our willingness to play through the adversity um, from our leadership. Uh, you know, we've got some really good, smart kids out there that need to be able to handle adversity better. And uh, we don't. I mean, it's – when things don't, we don't get a couple calls or we turn over, things start going bad. Um, we just don't seem to have that veteran leadership that galvanizes us right now. In the games we have, we've been good and we've won. In the games we haven't, we let it get away from us like we did tonight. And, um, you know, I, I can't do it for them every time. We only have so many timeouts. You can't call all of them. You can't call 10 of them, you know. And, and um, but, I, you know, I thought, again, uh, we had plenty of chances, like plenty of chances. We had, you know, shooting, whatever, finish at the rim, take care of the ball, rebound the basketball. Um, we didn't execute defensively like we had been. I mean, first half, I, I don't understand why the ball got to the middle of the floor on us. Like, and there was a couple of times our game plan was not to leave the paint on their bigs. Their bigs are not shooters. Their guards are good players. Uh, their bigs are good players. They're just not shooters. And we wanted to be in the paint. Well, there's a couple of times they drove it, and our bigs run away from the ball at the, at the three-point line to guard a guy that's not shooting a three. Um, you know, I, I don't. That's focus, I guess, from a young team, from a new team. I don't know. It's, I mean, I know we've been. Pra I know we practiced for two days. I mean, I know that we spent time preparing. I felt preparation and practice was good. Um, so, um, you know, sometimes the execution is not what you like for it to be, uh, and and that was certainly the case tonight. At halftime, uh, what do you think? Because they kind of got separation early in the, in the second half. Are you changing anything at halftime? Uh, we played a little more zone and. You know, it's hard to change something for me, to be honest, until you do what you're doing well. And, um, you know, we didn't. I mean, we didn't execute. We try to call something, and, you know, it's mid-January, and we're still calling stuff, and we have a guy that doesn't know what we're running or doesn't execute. Um, that's, that's a case for not being good enough. And, you know, no, I, I mean, we talked about it, but really if we change something of what we do, it's just out of weakness. I mean, you know, I, I don't like changing out of weakness. You know, um, I, I, I felt – that if we just do the things that we do better, that we would be okay. I really felt like we were going to be fine. But, you know, in the second half, we had a hard time moving the basketball against them. And everything that we did to them there, they did to us here. They made them uncomfortable. We made them uncomfortable. We turned them over. We kept pressure on them, smart pressure. They Tonight, they kept smart pressure on us. Um, they made us uncomfortable. They did their job better than we did our job. 
And it wasn't just for a few minutes at a time. It was for the majority of the game. And outside the start of the game, when we were we were moving the ball pretty well and playing pretty good defensively, you know, I just felt like early we, we were really good defensively early, and we couldn't take advantage of it on the offensive end. And then every time we had a breakdown defensively, they were they were making us pay. Uh, and then we just kind of got out of character and uh, what we haven't been doing. We've been a lot better guarding the ball. Tonight we weren't. Um, you know, it, it, the way we have to play to be successful is not sexy and it's not fun. We don't need to crank up threes and race horse up and down and gamble. We have to be between our guy, contest, and it's got to be a little tooth pulling contest at times for this team. That takes advantage of our length, our size, our athleticism, but none of that matters if you don't rebound and take care of the ball. You mentioned about being physical and having leadership. And is that something you coach? coach? Yeah, it is. It is. I, I'm responsible for it. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I, I think it's been. I don't think there's much excuse for once you've once you've been in our program for for a year or two. Um, we've certainly had terrific leaders and and men in our program for the last few years, and um, it's been modeled the way you're, the way a Golden Eagle is supposed to practice, go to class, act on campus, perform in a game. Those things have been modeled uh, with guys like K. John Mack and Mason Ramsey and people like that. Uh, we have had extremely high level of character and leadership. We have a high level of character now. We're just having to develop leaders from guys that they really haven't been in those positions before or our younger guys are going to have to or have to, are having to do that more and more. Um, you know, and, and, and listen, it's not like it's all bad. It's just that the fact that we have a hard time when things aren't going really well for us and really galvanizing our team. And we've had the good teams that we've had have been able to really overcome overcome and keep keep performing regardless of the circumstances and, and you know I, you've heard me say before I want us to look like Tennessee Tech regardless of the score we need to play act perform the way Tennessee Tech performs um, I don't know that we're there yet with this team and, and partially it's because we've been so jagged in our in our development with our with our injuries and stuff part of it's a lot of new guys and part of it's we just haven't we haven't adapted to those roles as well as we need to, we need to right now um, but I believe they will. Um, we'll be stronger because of all this when we come through it. Our team will be better because when we come through it, we're going to be a tough out. A little bit of a struggle now, especially the last two games. What are you telling them to keep them from kind of hanging their heads? For? They're better guys than that. I don't have to. I shouldn't have to tell them anything. If they don't, if they don't, this is a get to, not a have to deal. They don't want, nobody wants to go. That's fine. I mean, I, I'm good. I mean, I. I want them to do some things better. I want them to do, do a lot of things better, and I'm going to coach them really hard, and I'm not going to be real happy with our performance and our execution. Um, but the truth is, in that locker room down there is a lot of really good kids, and um, I don't think there's going to be a lot of finger pointing and blaming. I think it's just going to be guys that want to play better, and they want to play better. Um, we practice really hard this week, first week of school. Tuesday, our practice is disjointed because we have classes and guys are in and out. We have a couple of veteran guys that have to miss some time Tuesday and Wednesday. That affected our preparation a little bit more than it should for a young team. And, and, uh, but we'll fix that. They'll get used to that. We'll, we'll perform better. Uh, you know, I, I'm, we will be a better team because of all we've been through this year, the schedule, the hurt, the injuries, all that stuff. But they have to keep plugging. I'm not worried one bit about our team playing hard, staying excited about basketball. Um, you know, I, I, I think sometimes we're not as emotional as we should be about it, but they're going to play hard and they're going to compete. And there, there, there'll be, there'll be no, there'll be no, hey, we're packing it in. I promise you that. I, they, these guys are, that's why you recruit the high character guys you recruit and, and we'll, re, we'll rebound. I don't, I can't tell you what, what, when we're going to get it, but we're going to get it. And when we get it, we're going to be a really hard out. Right now we're just getting in spots, you know, but uh, I, I have complete faith in them and, I'm pretty sure I know where we're going. Coach has been kind of frustrated with the last couple of games about how how the performance on the floor may not be to your all standards. Just curious your thoughts. You're out there. What are you seeing happening on the floor, and and how can this get turned back around? Uh, well, I'm sure Coach already said it uh, previously, but it's about toughness mentally. Uh, we have all the pieces we need. We have size, ball handlers, shooters. We got everything we need to be a great team. And I feel like we are a great team. It's just we hit points in the game where we need great leadership and great determination to get back in the games when we give up runs. And that's what we're lacking right now. Uh, 
the guys we're, we're not hanging our heads we're, we're grateful in that locker room uh, that we have the opportunity to do this that we have more games to redeem ourselves uh, we know what we need to do we just like coach says in practice all the time it's hard it's hard he knows it's hard we know it's hard so we just got to get back to it and uh, try to uh, improve on the things that we're lacking in right now which is which is mentally and one of our core values is thankfulness and 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 that means we're going to learn from every circumstance the good ones the bad ones um, I just think this is who they are we're going to be thankful for the opportunity to play and you know you heard that talk for two minutes I get goosebumps I mean, that's why I coach I mean that's the kind of dude I want to coach you know, I, I'm on him but I know where he's going to be at 1 30 tomorrow where his mind's going to be um, and and no matter what I, I mean, that's 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 who I want to coach so um, you know, I appreciate to hear him say it, that we're grateful, that we're thankful. We have attitude that, hey, we took on Shin tonight. We're going to be okay. And I um, hope everybody will stick with us. You know, it's not been as smooth as we'd like, but it will, we will be better because of everything we go through. Drew, I'm just curious, what would you tell the Tech fans out there about this team? Maybe that they don't know or maybe they don't realize or, you know, you guys don't have the record you want right now. But what would you tell the Tech fans? I'm curious what you would tell them. Uh, to be honest, there's not much you can say. They don't see the work that we put in uh, behind the scenes. Uh, we work hard every day to come out here and put on the best possible show uh, to, to the best of our ability. So um, if, if I had anything to say, I would just say keep supporting, uh, stay behind us, and we're just going to keep working. We're never going to give up.